Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in today. Today we're going to kind of show you a, uh, a Cimarron Steerwalt, but we went ahead and we hooked it up to one of our, our uh, Summit haulers that we have. It's a 2020. We also have big trucks like this. We've got used trucks available. Um, if you are interested in a big, tra uh, big truck like this to haul a bigger trailer, whether it's a show trailer like this or a living quarters give us a call we can get you in, in touch with the truck guys and they can show you some of these newer trucks and then every once in a while they do get some used in they don't last very long so definitely give those guys a call they can get your information um, what you're looking for and a good price range and they can keep an eye out for you too because again those used ones do go pretty quick but um, if you are hauling a bigger trailer and you want a little bit more truck, a little bit more space, a little bit more stopping power, we carry these Freightliners. They're really, really nice trucks to, to haul these bigger trailers with. But now we'll jump into the trailer. This right here is a 2019 Cimarron Steerwalt Signature Series. This trailer is 28 foot on the floor eight foot wide and six four tall this is an air ride equipped trailer so we carry quite a few of these air ride steer walt show cattle trailers in inventory uh, over the years the 28 foot's been probably the most popular seller and then the 30 foot has kind of taken over that but these 28s, if, you, if you're not needing that extra length, these 28s are still extremely well equipped. Um, you have that air ride suspension. So again, your cattle are gonna step off this trailer extremely fresh. Everybody that pulls these trailers will tell you. The most common things that I hear from a customer is, I'll never pull another trailer without air ride. And I can usually cut 24 to 48 hours off of travel time headed to a show because we don't need as much recovery time for the cattle. They, don't, they actually feel like they're in the barn, so they'll lay down on these trailers. So when they step off, they're nice and fresh, their feet are underneath them. You can head to the show ring with them. So it does cut quite a bit of travel off as well. Like I mentioned, this one's a 28 footer. It is a signature series. We've done a couple things to these trailers. I rolled up that enclosed front end. It just keeps everything underneath this gooseneck nice and clean. Over here to the left, we put four big hooks. We moved the spare tire over to the right side of the jack. But the reason why is we felt like that was wasted space over there to the left. So we moved it over to the right and we gave you these big hooks. We, we understand you're hauling big heavy cords big hoses, miscellaneous items like that. So you got the ability to hang that stuff. There also is a floor on the, on the bottom of this enclosed front end. So it's a good place for maybe some tools, tire changing equipment. It's really easy accessible. I mean, you can even throw some luggage in there and with this enclosed front end, it's gonna keep it nice and clean. On our Cimarron's, I kind of mentioned that, uh, that jack a second ago. That is a electric over hydraulic, and it does have a manual pump. So if for some reason we don't have power to that, we can actually unhook or hook this trailer up by doing the manual override. So that's a nice feature, and it's, it's something we put on all of our Cimarron's when we go ahead and put that hydraulic jack on there. You've got your battery box. So it just keeps everything, again, nice and clean. You can lock that up. Then over to the right is your self-contained air compressor for the air ride system itself. These air ride systems are extremely easy to use. You turn it on, you put it in the raised position and you go down the road. It also does have rubber torsion axles with a shock kit underneath it. So if for some reason we lose air pressure, you know, as far as the compressor is concerned, an airline or a bag itself, it sets down on those rubber torsion axles and you can get down the road. To where in the old air ride systems, you couldn't go anywhere. You were stuck. So that's a nice feature on these guys as well. As we get into this trailer here,
We got you a five foot front tack room. We put a ramp on passenger side. So same side as our ramp going in the load space. And then we put you a man door on driver's side. Um, we understand a lot of people are showing off these trailers. It's nice to unload cattle and unload equipment all on the same side. So we really like this ramp from the standpoint of loading your upright boxes, your fan carts, your blower carts, portable generators, anything like that. We know it's heavy equipment and going up and down that ramp makes it so much easier than going from the ground up and over in this door setting that equipment in here. We went ahead and carpeted this partition wall. So again, if you're putting equipment up there and strapping it down, it's not gonna rub and, and beat up that wall. And then you'll notice this airliner track that goes across all the way. We can get you hooks. So again, you can ratchet strap some equipment down, your upright box, your fan carts, your blower carts. Then we put you some nice big hooks up top. It's not your traditional bridle hooks that you see in a lot of older trailers. These are bigger utility hooks, they're a lot deeper. These are actually aluminum that are powder coated. So they're nice and heavy duty. And then that tray above there that you see, that's actually for our plexiglass on this trailer. So you can take out plexiglass and store it up here. It's up out of the way, it keeps it nice and organized for you. We just put a boot box in here for maybe some little miscellaneous items, just so they're not bouncing around. Then also it works as a good step hopping up in there. Now I do have this trailer raised up right now. So it is sitting about two and a half inches higher. Our recommendation is, is when you're loading your equipment or your cattle, to actually have it in the lower position. The reason why is it drops this trailer two and a half inches closer to the ground. So it's not as big of a step if you're loading from the back. It also changes our angles on our side ramps. You know, if this trailer goes up, that ramp gets a little bit steeper. If we lower it, it changes that angle, so it's just a lot easier getting things in and out. So we highly recommend when you're loading and unloading to have it in lower position, but then when you're going down the road, you just flip it over to the raise and go. So it is very, very simple to use. Now we'll jump into the stall area on this trailer. So on all of our air ride trailers that we have in inventory new, we put two traveling gates on them. And the reason why is over the years we've found that everybody just wants to have the flexibility to manipulate their stall sizes all they want. Um, you know, a lot of people aren't running as many, you know, larger grooming chutes. Um, maybe they are running a little bit smaller one or maybe you're not running them at all and you're just fitting there in the stalls. So over the years, we used to have a fixed gate at the back and a traveling gate up front. And we used to put that fixed gate 9-3 off the back because that'll put an eight foot chute inside that back gate, wheels and handles, and get you to be able to stand against that gate and set it down and get out of the way. But again, with a lot, a lot of people not running those as, as much anymore, we opted to put the second traveling gate in there. And again, we run that track through to the back you know, about four foot off, because really what are you gonna do, you know, any smaller back there? But then this gives you the ability to have one giant space if you want to. You can roll these gates up and lock them into place. How we kind of have it set right now, we have one traveling gate set and one up against the partition wall, or you can even roll that one back. And again, if, if you're running some bread heifers and maybe you're hauling a pair with you and maybe you're hauling a bull, it's a great way to shrink down stall sizes, not waste a eight, 10 foot stall. Now we can shrink it down, you know, have that pair to where they're separated from everybody else and, and not eating up a lot of the trailer. So with those traveling gates, they're really easy to use. They run off this top rail. I'll show you here in a second how easy they roll. I swear that my little girl 
that's about that tall could get behind one of those gates. If she's in the middle, she could push it up, pull it back towards her. They are very, very easy to use and roll extremely well. So I'll show you how that works here in a second. I wanted to show you a couple other things. We put a, a tie rail up high, kind of between your two air gaps, and then one down low. So that goes the length of this stall area. So you, again, you can tie cattle up. You have the standard insulated roof. Comes on every single Cimarron. One, it will take substantial hail, but most importantly, it keeps this stall area about 20% cooler than aluminum sheeted roof. So as you're traveling in the summer months when it's really hot, you know, we're gonna keep the cattle much more comfortable in here. If you ever run across this at some shows at like a junior national, typically we're parked out by the, the supply trailers. We're on asphalt. You know, it's 95, 100 degrees. It could be humid at times. You will actually find us not underneath the easy up tent outside. You'll find us in the trailer with our chairs because it's that much cooler in the trailer than out there, even in the shade. So that roof makes a massive, massive difference in just the comfort level for your cattle. We put roof vents on there so you can manipulate some airflow. And I mentioned up front that we have the plexiglass in these upper air gaps, but then we've got this lower one open down here, which I'm a big, big fan of that lower one. The reason why is, like I mentioned, cattle lay down on these air ride trailers like they're in the barn. So you gotta imagine that them laying down, well, if we open that up, that gets that nice fresh air movement down by their nose, if they are standing up, down by their chest floor, which is their radiator, so it keeps them nice and cool. I mean, we can all attest to it on a real hot day, 95 degrees, dead air, it is miserably hot. You get a little bit of a breeze, and boy, you feel a lot more comfortable and a lot cooler. And that way we can manipulate a lot of airflow and actually force that air down to the cattle. I mentioned to you about the traveling gate. I'm gonna go ahead and show you. You just break it loose. Again, kind of stand right in the middle and just roll it forward. Really, really easy to use. Then on any post, you just lock it into place. On this one here, the second gate, we did this 48 inch wide swing with no threshold. And then the front gate, we did as a no threshold with a slider gate on it. You can actually flip them around. You can add another gate if you want to. So just really, really nice features. And again, you can do whatever you want here in this stall area. I mentioned those, air, those lower air gaps on this trailer. We opted for the fold down aluminums. It's really quick and easy for you to just walk by, close them, open them, whatever you need to. So if you leave early, early in the morning, it's really, really cold, and then it's gonna warm up throughout the day, you can stop somewhere and just literally run around this trailer and not have to pull the plexiglass out on that lower air gap. So it's a lot easier to use there. And as you can see, this trailer shines. This is the polished finish to this trailer. And boy, does it make these trailers look really, really sharp. Now, some people ask, what, what does it take to maintain these polished trailers? And they are a little bit more work. Um, you know, salt back east, here around Colorado, we have mag chloride. When you're driving in those conditions and you're, and you're done, get back from the show, we do recommend get a power washer and get that stuff off of it. Um, but you don't want to acid wash these polished trailers. What you actually want to do is you want to citrus wash them because that acid wash will burn that polish and will give it kind of a smoky look to it. Um, to where on these, you just want to do the citrus wash. We, we use a, a truck wash up the road. We always recommend that you find a local truck wash. They usually understand what it takes. You know, they're doing a lot of those tankers that are, that are polished up like this. They know the chemicals to use and what not to use. So 
That's a little bit of maintenance on those guys. On the exterior, we did a high tie rail and a low tie rail for you. If you're tying out at the trailer, there is also tie rails on the other side of this trailer. So two 8,000 pound Dexter axles, again, air ride with the rubber torsion and shocks on it. And like I mentioned, this trailer is raised up about two and a half inches. So when we lower it, it's actually gonna just push all the air out down on this trailer. There is added cost to the air ride. But like I mentioned earlier, the two most common things I hear from everybody is, I'll never own another one without air ride. And again, I can cut 24 to 48 hours off of my travel because the cattle are fresher. It is a game changer in the industry. Don't think about the added cost on this one trailer one time. Think about every steer, heifer, bull that you put on this trailer and how many miles and how many shows you go to. And again, if we can cut some cost off, that's one to two extra days of hotel rooms. That's paying your, your help those extra days and just being away from your operation possibly. So it is a very minimal cost when you put those in, into perspective and, and you calculate all that out. As we get to the back of this trailer, you've got your swing gate with the slider on the back. You know, everything's LED lighting. So we've got some LED, you know, brake and turn signals, LED load lights at the back. They're also on the side of the trailer. And then you can see the OptiBright LEDs on the interior there. All of your switches are located right back here and everything's individual. So driver's side I can turn off, passenger side, rear, and the interior, all on an individual switch. You have your standard aluminum wheels from Cimarron. Those are 17 and a half inch wheels with 16 ply tires. So you have a heavier duty tire. You have a warranty on those tires as well when you buy a new Cimarron. You get a one year, no questions asked warranty on those. If you hit a nail, a screw, it can't be patched. You take some pictures, they'll send you a new one in a couple days. You also get two years of roadside assistance. And then the green tab on them means they are nitrogen filled. So that nitrogen filled means our PSI levels aren't gonna fluctuate drastically. If you need to put air to something, if you have a low tire, slow leak, you can put air to it, it's not a problem at all. You get an escape door, jumping into the stall area. And like I mentioned, we put another man door on driver's side jumping in there. We also put a fold up step. So instead of you going flat footed up and over that ledger, that step just makes it a really nice transition getting in there. Then we put you a digital combo code on there as well. So if you need to run to the trailer and you don't have keys and the, the latch actually isn't locked, you can actually just do the digital send somebody to the trailer, hey, here's the code, go grab that and run back to us. So very, very easy to use there. And then this is a silver metallic trailer here. When you see it in person and you get it in the sunlight, you'll see those metallic flakes come out. It looks really, really sharp. And we'll just work our way around this freight liner that it's hooked onto. Just because, again, it looks, the whole rig looks really good together. All that chrome, the polish, and then those silver colors, they all kind of work together. Larry did just do a video on this truck. So you can go to our, if you're on our Facebook page, you can look for it. On the YouTube channel, you can look for it, or you can jump onto our inventory and check out all the trucks that they have to offer. And if you want to watch the video on this one specifically, you can. It's on there as well. So the stock number on this trailer is 5N190139. This is a 2019 Cimarron Steerwalt. 
This is the last 19 we have in an air ride, so give us a call. We've got some savings we can pass along to you on this trailer. But again, we appreciate you tuning in. If you're inter interested in this trailer specifically or another one in inventory, or you want to custom build one of these trailers, give us a call. Again, my name is C.J. Altmer, TransWest Truck Trailer RV, Frederick, Colorado. You can give myself a call or anybody on the sales team a call. 303-684-3402. Thanks, have a good day.